five bags that I absolutely love from Louis Vuitton that I do not plan on purchasing. Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Melissa and I make videos on luxury, fashion, and beauty. If that is something that you are interested in, then please consider subscribing. So as you guys know, if you saw my previous video, I will link it down below for you guys. I am in the market for my first Louis Vuitton bag of 2023 and I asked for your guys' input. Well, during that video, I found quite a few bags, I have to be honest, that I am in love with that didn't make it to the list. So I thought I would share with you guys five bags that I absolutely love from Louis Vuitton that I do not plan on purchasing. So I have my laptop down right in front of me. I have my glasses on today because I cannot see without my glasses and it just makes it a lot easier to see my laptop down below and we're gonna just jump right into it. The first bag that I am absolutely loving at Louis Vuitton and I have to tell you guys, this bag was not love at first sight. I actually didn't like this bag at first and it's the Petite Mao. This bag for me is definitely a collector's piece. It looks like a cute little trunk. At first I didn't understand why would anybody want this bag? It doesn't fit a lot. It's not practical. It's not functional, but I have to say I really like the way it looks on and I absolutely love the way that it looks as decoration as well. So I feel like it's one of those things you get two in one. You could display it beautifully in your office, in your bedroom, on a shelf somewhere, but you also get to use it as a bag and it's absolutely stunning. Now, the reason why I would never purchase this is one, stunning isn't good enough. I need practicality in my bags. And two, the price point. This this bag retails at $5,700. $5,700 here in the United States for a bag that you can barely fit anything inside of. So for me, this bag is not practical. It does come in a few different um, combinations. It comes in the epi leather, comes in the monogram, and it comes in the reverse monogram. I'm on a reverse monogram kick, but I feel like if I were to purchase this bag, hypothetically speaking, I would probably get the monogram because it has... It's just black and brown, and I really think it would just work better with my wardrobe. For me, the epi leather just doesn't do it for me. It's not something I like. I like this bag because of the Louis Vuitton background, because it looks like a little trunk, because of the LV monogram canvas that they're so known for. And I feel like the epi leather just kind of tones it down a little bit, and it kind of takes away from what this bag represents, in my opinion. This next bag, I am really, really shocked that I like it. It is the Louis Vuitton side trunk. So normally I don't like this style of bag, but as I've mentioned in a couple of my other videos, my style is sort of starting to shift. I am 33 years old and I don't know if that has anything to do with it, but I'm starting to really like more of a mature style. And this side trunk I think is absolutely gorgeous. What sold me on it is the fact that it is a soft, squishy trunk. So it looks like a trunk, but it is normal canvas. It's, do, it's not super, super structured. It does have a little bit of structure around the corners and the edges, but it's not a really, really structured trunk bag. I think that that is really cool. It's really fun and it's a different take to the, the normal Louis Vuitton trunk style bags. This bag is opposite of the Petite Mal. The Petite Mal is very tiny. It's petite as it says in the name and it's very very structured and it's like a typical truck trunk shrunk down into a tiny little form um this one is the complete opposite it can fit a lot in there i've seen a couple reviews on it um i'm eager to, to watch some more i think that this bag out of all of the bags is the one that could make me a liar if i found this bag pre-loved at a really good price point I might buy this one. I think it's really cute. The one that I like is the Louis Vuitton canvas with the Vaquetta leather. I'm not a huge fan of Vaquetta, but that's the one that I like the most. It does come in leather as well. The Let me tell you the price. The monogram canvas comes in at $3,800. And let's see what the leather comes. So the leather version, same thing. It is a softer leather, but it holds its shape just a little bit more. 
it that one is four thousand three hundred and fifty dollars both versions of this bag come with a shoulder strap or a top handle you could carry it either way and a uh, cross body strap but i can't tell if it is a adjustable strap or not I can't tell if the strap is adjustable or not, but looking at the photos, it actually looks like it might be a shorter shoulder or a top handle strap and a longer shoulder strap. The strap looks pretty short to me. They don't have very good photographs on this bag. So if any of you guys have went in store and tried it on, or if you own this bag, let us know down in the comments below. Is this a crossbody strap? Is it adjustable or is it just a longer shoulder strap? The next bag is actually a bag that I have loved for years and it is the uh, Neo Noe MM, the bucket style bag. I love it in the dove color, which is kind of a gray with a little bit of taupe undertone to it and the cream with the large monogram print on it. I love a good bucket bag, but for some reason, a bucket bag just doesn't work out for me. I did buy a vintage Louis Vuitton bucket bag. I will link that video down below for you guys. And a few months after I purchased that bag, I ended up selling it because it just didn't work out for me. It didn't work out for my lifestyle. I don't necessarily carry a lot unless I'm going to work. And then I usually have a lunch pail and then I have my bag and then I have my coffee in my hand and I have so many things that I don't necessarily need a bigger bag for that either. I'm not gonna throw my lunch inside of my bag. I'm just not that kind of a girl, but um, yeah, unfortunately the bucket bag style didn't work out for me. I still love this bag and I often have to convince myself that I don't need it. I tell myself, you don't need this bag. You didn't get along with the bucket bag. Big bags aren't your thing, but I keep gravitating towards it. So this one might end up in my collection one day, but I really don't think that's going to be the case. So far I've been pretty level headed and took into account that I'm not a bucket bag girl. This one does retail for $2,840. I think that's a great price point. It's an all leather bag, has the microfiber interior. It has a top handle, so you can carry a top handle or you might be able to fit it on your shoulder. I think you can. And then it's got an adjustable strap so you can wear it short shoulder or, um, I'm sorry, you can wear it long shoulder or cross body if you want. I think that the size is really great if you love a larger bag. I think it's stunning and I would buy it if it was something that was practical for my lifestyle. This next bag is actually a bag that I've wanted ever since I started getting into luxury. When I got my very first ever luxury bag, I got the Vavin PM or Vavin. Some people say Vavin, to me it sounds better Vavin. I don't know how it's pronounced, but I say Vavin. I'm talking about the V-A-V-I-N bag. I got it in the PM size and I was torn between the Bella, which is another uh, bucket style bag, or the Vavin, Vavin bag. And I ended up getting my Vavin PM. I absolutely love that bag. I have zero regrets but I still love this Bella bag. Now, the only reason why I haven't purchased this bag is because one, it's a bucket style bag, and two, because of the price point. I do feel like with the Bella bag, because it is a shorter style bucket bag, I would be able to use it and make um, good use out of it. I think I would use it in my lifestyle, is what I'm trying to get at. They have this bag in a new color, which is called Olympi Blue and it is absolutely stunning it has the silver hardware it has it's just absolutely beautiful it has a little coin pouch that is attached to it they also have this in a metallic gray which is stunning they have it in uh, every color that they have it in i love it in i believe they have it in black i believe they have it in the turtle dove color as well but their newest colors are the olympi blue and the metallic gray which both are absolutely stunning. But if I had to choose one, I would go for the blue color. Love that baby blue color, absolutely stunning. The price point is just too high for me, $4,050 for a bag that is just a small little simple classic bag. The last bag that I absolutely love, but I would absolutely not purchase this bag. I would not do it, I cannot do it, but I love it every time I see it. I think it's beautiful. Every time I go into Louis Vuitton, I always check it out. I've never actually tried it on. I'll just fill it and hold it, but 
Um, I keep myself from trying it on because I do not want to fall in love with this bag. And the bag that I'm talking about is a Louis Vuitton Cousin bag in the PM size. It comes in lots of different colors, you guys. They have a new turquoise color. They have it in black. They have it in a sunflower, which is a beautiful bright yellow. They have it in cream. They have it in gray. They have it in black. They have it in blue, uh, blue glacier. They have it in camel, taupe, navy, and silver. So if I were to buy this bag, I would definitely get it in the taupe color which is absolutely stunning. You guys know I'm a huge fan of taupey colors. It really looks well with my skin tone and it matches with most of my clothing because most of my clothing is cooler undertones and taupe is a great accent color. It's a great neutral for cooler clothing pieces and cooler undertones. The other one that I love, which is a newer one, and I just saw when I was doing my research to see which bag I want to pick up for my next Louis Vuitton bag. I'm so excited. Spoiler alert, I did make my choice and I have ordered it and you guys will be seeing unboxing soon. But the ne next color that I found was Blue Glacier and this color is absolutely stunning. It is like an icy blue color, very, very pale blue. It's got the silver hardware, which you guys know I absolutely love. And then it's got like a cream colored strap with blue on there. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'm not sure if it has any writing on it. Let's see, hold on, give me one second. Okay, so it's a cream colored strap with blue leather accents and then the writing is actually white on there, which I think is absolutely stunning. Now, the reason why I would never buy this bag, even though I love it so much, is I've watched reviews. I had intentions of buying this bag when it first came out. It used to be like $3,700, now it's $4,700. So it's gone up about $1,000 in price since I first originally saw this bag. If my memory is serving me correct, I could be off on the original price, but um, I think it's absolutely stunning. But everybody complains about the chain. Everybody complains about how impractical it is. Everybody complains about how uncomfortable it is. The fact that it's three different compartments instead of one big compartment, people complain about. Um, they say that it's a waste of space because you can only fit a couple things in each compartment and it's a big fluffy bag. You would think that you would, could fit a ton in there. So because of the reviews, it definitely has held me off. Those are all of the bags that I absolutely love at Louis Vuitton that I just can't seem to purchase. If you guys would like to see a video on all the bags that I am loving at Louis Vuitton that I may purchase in the future, then please let me know down in the comments below because I would love to film that for you guys. Do you guys love any vid any videos? Do you guys love any bags at Louis Vuitton that you just won't buy because of a price point or because you heard negative things about it or whatever it may be? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to get some conversations rolling. Thank you guys for spending your precious time with me. I hope you guys had fun. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. But until next time, bye guys.